Hi, uh, my name is Lorraine Jenks. For those of you who don't know me, I uh, have two websites. One is called Hotel Stuff and the other one is called Bean Stuff. Hotel Stuff lists everything you use in a hotel. Uh, from my 15 years that I worked as the contracts and procurement manager of a large hotel chain. And then Green Stuff identifies all the uh, eco-friendly products that are on Hotel Stuff. And it's absolutely enormous. It's grown. Hotel Stuff is 17 years old and Green Stuff 8 years old. And we're getting 33,000 page views a month. There's 33,000 people looking for products on the directory. Um, the, the show we're at now, it's our sixth show, is called the uh, Hotel Show Africa. It's its first uh, event in South Africa. We're really thrilled that it's here because it covers a lot of the industry that uh, perhaps isn't covered everywhere. Um, and there's always space and time for something new. And what they've asked us to do here is to demonstrate, you know, when you talk about sustainability and green, people think of hippies and Jesus sandals and dowdy clothing. It's trying to show that sustainability can be absolutely beautiful. So we've got three stands, we've got a bedroom and a bathroom and a patio setup and then a casual lounge area to demonstrate the products that are on the website. We don't sell anything and we don't take commission on anything. We are actually educators and the directory is there to link buyers and suppliers uh, with no middleman. So we're going to walk through those three uh, projects with you, those three stands, and just point out the products that are in this particular event. So what I'm going to do is take you through these three uh, stands and just point out the items that are here and the reason that they're allowed to be here. Each one has a ticket with 50 words on it to explain its green credentials um, and why it actually passes to be greener than the industry standard or the greenest that we can find. So I'm going to start with a coffee machine over here. <clears throat> this is a company called Miko Pura. Absolutely amazing, they, they, they protect rainforests, they have a uh, fair trade uh, certification, all organically grown. They even have a camcorder in the rainforest to film little birds that you can watch any time of the day. Very uh, efficiently uh, resourced in gorgeous little machines, big machines if you want. Um, second here is two of the most serious polluters of plastic in the ocean. I mean, I'm sure you've seen the programs on television about the devastation of these huge islands of plastic floating around. Two of the biggest contributors, believe it or not, are straws. Obviously, aside from plastic bags and bottles, straws and balloons. Balloons are killing off the, the turtles because they think it's a jellyfish. So you buy one of these and you carry it around with you. You also get glass ones and you get a little brush. So you rinse it and you clean it out with a little brush, like a little pipe cleaner brush. And then down here we have an energy efficient lock, for example. Um, all this, everything here you'll find on our, on our websites, all the detailed information and some more um, information about them and a link through to the company. This little table, made by a wonderful man in, in, in Soweto, who works in balsa wood and he is so creative. You clip the things together and I'll show some more of his products later on. Just something, something that people sometimes don't think of. Um, cut flowers are actually very environmentally unfriendly a because of all the water that it takes to grow them all the pesticides all the herbicides and of course the enormous carbon, uh, carbon footprint to transport them to where they need to be so we have several places on the show we've got silk flowers and silk in itself is natural and they last forever and you clean them with a hairdryer and we get you'll see later on we have enormous trees 
So please, no more cut flowers, either live pots in a plant, uh, in a, a plant in a pot, or silk. Fabric is a huge challenge for us. Uh, cotton is not green, and this is organic cotton. Again, because of the um, carbon footprint to grow it, all the water it needs, pesticides, chemicals, herbicides to grow. They will insist on bleaching it, even if it's going to be dyed black, they bleach cotton. So the answers are hemp, bamboo, flax linen. Uh, this is an example of hemp, absolutely beautiful. Really, really strong. Hemp grows quickly, very little water. And in fact, my, I've got an uncle who grew up on a farm in Italy, who has a, a pillowcase his mom made in 1943 out of hemp and he still uses it. The more you use it, the softer it gets. So, and then these cushions, we've got several of them throughout the show, are from 8th Avenue training, uh, Trading, all locally made. Bedding is our passion because we think there are so many better ways of doing beds in the hotels because of the wastage and the toxins that we got so used to using. So some examples we have here to save you having to have a roll away uh, bed for an extra child. We've got a little poof that falls out into a single bed. This is a luggage rack made by one of our people in the wilderness. Um, with sustainably sourced FEC wood and non-toxic resins and stains. This is the another one from, from 8th Avenue Trading, beautiful cotton throw. Silk duvet, silk is absolutely beautiful. Um, just watch how the silk worms are treated. So cool in the summertime, so warm in the winter and such a lovely feel. And you shake it to loft it up, and if you want it lofted a lot, the factory will do it again if you just send it back to them. This is a bamboo bathrobe. Bamboo is so luxuriously soft, washes beautifully, antibacterial, antifungal, easy to clean, and of course, very sustainable to, har uh, to grow and to harvest several um, uh, crops a year. And water wise, and hardly any uh, herbicides, pesticides needed to grow it. This is flax linen. Flax linen is very, very expensive, what our grannies used to have. It is easy to grow, sustainable, again, very little water, no chemicals, and the people, it is expensive, but people don't realize it's going to outlast your standard linen by four times, at least by four times. And of course, the inners, the pillows, and the duvet inners are by the same company, Linen Draw. Also, that is sustainably harvested um, goose feathers and goose down done with kindness. Some of the countries pluck the animals while they're alive and these are plucked um, or combed so that they're not in any pain. And then of particular interest, everybody just loves this. I found this on the internet. Two boys in Holland build these. It is an air conditioner just for your bed. So behind the bed you have a little air conditioner and in here you have a funnel of fabric inside and the cool air just comes in that little funnel and cools only the bed instead of trying to cool the whole room. And they also have one that is a, a, a frame around the bed with mosquito nets on the side and again only will cool within that space. When, you, when you're sourcing something, step back and look at the whole picture because sometimes there are things that you don't think of. Always look for energy efficiency. This is a particularly energy efficient hairdryer from, uh, from Techno Swiss. 
and they also have one that fits in a drawer. So often they won't fit in the drawers in the hotels. And you don't have to have a mirror for your shaving, a, a light for your shaving mirror. They've got one with LED lighting if you want. And this one has only one layer of chrome instead of several layers, which are really a little bit toxic. This is a body dryer, not a hair dryer. So you stand like that and you turn and it dries you if you're lazy. It has a sensor, so it picks up. It senses when you're going to be there and it switches on and the minute you move away, it switches off again. This lady here understands this. She's going to tell you what this is. This is the waterless original urinal which is 100% odor free and it's a patented waterless system. Absolutely no toxic chemicals are used in this urinal um, and the cleaning and odor mechanism is actually made of natural materials. When you're trying to go green, um, one of the first things they'll tell you to do is to get uh, solar panels for your energy. For water, they will always say to you, get a low flow shower rose or a low flow faucet uh, attachment because this can save you up to 90% of your water. It feels like the same amount of water is coming out, but it's not because it's aerated. Um, and you can, uh, because you're saving 90% of your water, for the hot water obviously, you're saving the equivalent amount of energy. And then the second thing they're going to ask you to do is to get a, a dual flush toilet so that you either have a full flush or, or a fraction of the, uh, the use of the water to flush the toilet. And recycled paper turned into toilet tissue. Look for it, you can find it if you look for it. one of these baths in a hotel and I wondered what was green, a very, very green hotel. The, the material itself isn't green, you don't always have to have green materials, you must look at the whole, as I said, the life cycle. What makes this efficient is the fact that it tapers, so you need far less water to have a nice deep bath. And in fact, I've just come back from Cape Town where they've got this terrible drought and the hotel had put a piece of tape in the bath to tell us how much water we were allowed to use without feeling guilty. Again, here we have the beautiful um, uh, bamboo bath towels from Duvine and another silk plant, silk tree. This is Egyptian cotton. Uh, cotton, as I said, is not particularly um, green because of its, that they will insist on bleaching it and it's difficult to grow, but it's better than polyester. Anything is better than polyester. Bamboo towels and then chemicals and uh, amenities, best amenities, toiletries. Look at the, these are enzyme cleaning chemicals and people will insist on disinfecting everything. When you disinfect, um, you're actually killing all the bacteria, the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. And we need the good bacteria. That's why you must let your children play with the dogs and eat ebola with the animals and play in the mud so that they can build up resistance. And we are now becoming antibiotic intolerant because of all the uh, antibacterials that we're using. So these are enzyme treatment, treatments. They work on the, um, the bad bacteria and let the good bacteria survive. Then the, uh, the guest amenities or toiletries, no parabens, no sulfates, recyclable um, containers. And again, completely environmentally friendly. Um, and these are microfiber cloths, not, not uh, green in themselves, but make cleaning much more efficient because of the surface of the cloth. This is just a fun chair made by a chap uh, who calls his company J-Line Furniture. 
He made us chairs and cupboards overnight. The painters were when they arrived this morning because it was such an urgent order. Fantastic, fun stuff. He calls us the Afro chair. The decking here is bamboo. Beautiful, strong, doesn't warp, um, water resistant. The, I think the material comes from China, but everything is manufactured here in South Africa. Wool, pure wool carpet, very energy efficient and very green. More, uh, these are real plants um, from Talborn. The jacuzzi arrived, we didn't know, but this is a, a composite material made out of, I think, wood chips and of course recycled PET bottles, which makes at least the panel around the side uh, environmentally friendly. If you've got a garden, we do a very lots and lots of work with a, a group called Slow Food International for small scale farmers. Uh, the project is for 10,000 uh, farms in Africa to get farmers to start beating the big commercial um, agricultural capturers. And these Talborn is the most wonderful organic uh, fertilizer um, and compost for your garden. And then the chairs here, what makes them green is the fact that they're aluminium. Aluminium is one of the few metals that you can recycle over and over again. And the carpet is from Belkatex. Obviously that's not green because it's synthetic, but much better to have this on your patio or your backyard rather than grass that has to be cut and fertilised and pesticide and treated um, and just gobbles up masses of water. This uh, unit here is what we call a modern day donkey burner. It's a wood chip burner for hot water extremely energy efficient, extremely fast, extremely safe from any size that you want. The technicality is beyond me but all on their website and you'll find them of course along with everybody else on hotel stuff. So look them up and they have a whole range of very cleverly designed products. Protovate, Protovate items, such clever ideas out of balsa wood and he's got things like little little stands for your lap pot, uh, laptop, for your iPad, for your cell phone. Um, as as this, this holds your cell phone if you could believe it, all beautiful for uh, corporate, corporate gifts, all uh, sustainably sourced materials. These fever tree is um, Non, completely non-toxic insect repellent, mosquito repellent. I don't know if you know, but DEET, your, your very popular insect repellents are very toxic. You're not actually supposed to use some of it on a child under two, and people don't realize that. So these are either um, a fragrance that goes into the air or, or lotions that you put onto your body. And then up here, we have recyclable packaging. Um, the stuff that your takeaway usually comes in is actually terrible. It takes forever to biodegrade, if ever, in the sea. So this is made from bagasse or recycled materials, completely natural, throw it away, and it will just biodegrade back into nothing. A graft in Everest made this uh, for us. It's not uh, a sustainable fabric, but if you ask them, they will cover it in hemp uh, upholstery for you. These are absolutely stunning. These units were made by a company called Duchenne, uh, especially for the show, out of bamboo. And the bamboo comes from Moso, who did the, um, the decking over there. And they also did this incredibly fabulous bamboo flooring. Please look up bamboo. It's on our website. It is efficient, it's eco-friendly, low carbon footprint, all the good stuff. And nowadays, completely uh, comparable with the best woods. Um, we've spoken about the little coffee machine and of course put the two cup or the three cup kettle in your hotel rooms because then people won't fill them up and boil the whole kettle and use up all that energy. Uh, more silk flowers here, more of the bamboo, 
Obviously, LED lighting everywhere where you possibly can, and they now have a whole range of shades so they don't look so blue anymore. And then the bed. This bed was specially made for the show. I asked for a green bed. We're struggling to find a green bed in South Africa. So what they are doing is making some of the components green, which is at least a start. And Sealy, Bravo Sealy made this especially for us. And it's covered in a beautiful, sustainable bamboo fabric. Here again, we have a lovely throw made uh, from pure cotton. The bed linen, organic cotton. Um, from Fiber 2000, the, the duvets also, Fiber 2000, and the mattress protector. And then just as a matter of interest, I found this when walking through the show. I don't know if your granny, if you remember your granny using K-pop. Anybody remember? It's absolutely fabulous. I think it's a seed from a tree, completely non-toxic, non-allergenic, uh, keeps its loft. So look it up. If you want to know more, send us an email. These people aren't on our website, but I think it's just a fantastic idea. So just to sum up, the most challenging thing for us is to find eco-friendly green bed linen because polyester is uh, an oil-based fabric which we try not to use. Cotton, they will insist on bleaching it before they dye black even. So either organic cotton or flax linen, which we spoke about, Hemp, which feels quite hard when you buy it, but the more you wash it, the more it softens. It becomes like silk eventually, uh, and then silk as well. Are options for bedding, and remember, it might cost more, but it's going to cost a whole. I mean, last a whole lot longer. So use us for all your all your hotel needs. We don't take commission, and we don't charge a fee for using our website. Use the website or email us, and we'll help you find anything that you need. And please. If we don't go green, there'll be no future for your grandchildren. Thank you.